Propokius just came back, and from the previews, we already knew Headway would be a favorite of ours. The title track in particular absolutely exceeded our expectations and impressed us with a variety of intriguing songwriting and arrangement approaches. Today, we're breaking down our favorite aspects of Purple Kisses On My Bike. Pop songs vary a lot, but there are still a lot of general approaches to songwriting and arrangement, which we have spoken to a number of times. A really good song, however, would often break the rules and deviate in unpredictable ways. This is not easy to do, but On My Bike does a fantastic job at that. We narrowed our list down to five, and we think it will not only be fun to analyze the song, but we could all learn a lot from it. Let's dive in. First and foremost, we love the way On My Bike develops. It stands at 3 minutes and 6 seconds, which is on the longer side for the current trends. Moreover, the song feels long as it keeps on developing in a fantastic way. We have distinct sections which get enough room to breathe and build into the next one. And all of this allows Purple Kiss undoubtedly fantastic vocals to shine too. This is the overall structure of the song, and you can probably already notice some interesting parts which really drive the song forward. At number 2, we have the creative variation between the A and the B chorus. We have a video coming up about chorus songwriting where we would go into more detail, but in short, repeating the same chorus top line twice is a rather common choice. Often, there would be some variation introduced the second time around, sometimes in the lyrics, sometimes with a phrase being different the second time around. In On My Bike, the two halves of the chorus finish differently. What stood out to us the most, however, was the phrase right before. In the A chorus, we hear an ascending melody with repetitive lyrics. In the B chorus, we have the same lyrics, but the melody is descending instead. Before we continue our fearless bike ride, please consider supporting us over on Coffee. As most of our videos get copyright claimed, Coffee is the only way for us to monetize our content and to ensure that we keep on producing high quality videos for you guys in the future. And as a sign of our gratitude, supporting us also comes with some great additional benefits. Link is down below. We're at the midpoint, with the verse 2B arrangement being our third favorite. When it comes to the second verse, we often see two cases. We may have a second verse half as long as the first one, and then go directly to the pre-chorus. Alternatively, the two verses may both be composed of two parts, with one of the two parts generally repeating. However, Purple Kiss do something different here. We have Yuki's rap, which is a significant change from how verse 1 started, and fairly standard in K-pop. We then have a B verse, but only half as long as verse 1B. The top line is very similar, tying the two together, but there is a variation in the lyrics and extra vocal production in the second time around. And we'll get back to Yuki's rap a bit later too, so pay close attention. The bridge is another section we thought deserved some attention here as our penultimate favorite. With songs getting shorter nowadays, bridges are often shorter too, or sometimes skip all together. On My Bike's bridge, however, is as long as the first verse and truly has time to develop. But this is not all. We have spoken multiple times about question-answer patterns before, with the ABAC pattern being very common. The repeating question phrase helps with memorability, while the different answer adds variety. Purple Kiss take this idea and once again flip it, as the whole bridge has an ABCB structure. The question sections differ a fair bit from each other, adding a sense of progression throughout the entire section. The answer section is catchy, with an on-beat top line and an instrumental which further supports the melody. But the surprises don't stop here. Last but not least, we want to look at the songwriting of the final post-chorus. Remember when we said we would get back to Yuki's rap later? She opens the second verse with the following lyrics, but we go back to them at the very end of the song too. This time, we have a catchy melody to go with them, and they repeat twice. This is very smart, as having heard the lyrics already helps us instantly be able to sing along. Body, so 
This could also be called musical foreshadowing, which is introducing a certain melodic motif or lyrics in advance to come back to them later and is something that can be found all over music, from classical to film and of course K-pop. The whole section's top line structure is ABA, with the B part repeating the title of the song. You could say that they used this to go out with a bang, and a very catchy one at that. But what did you think of On My Bike? Let us know your favorite song from Purple Kisses Headway in the comments below. Thank you to our coffee supporters, and if you like this video on Purple Kisses songwriting, you may enjoy this other one we made on the topic.